Opioid epidemic, general information. Physicians face increased pressure to decrease the patient pain. Patients may have pain from an injury, from surgery, or from other conditions that can cause pain. Pain is a common thing for most individuals. One of the medications the doctor use to decrease the pain especially if the pain is severe, is opioids. The use of opioids increased significantly due to multiple factors. What is an opioid? Opioid is a general term that represents opiates. For example, morphine, which is derived directly from opium. The opioid can be semi-synthetic opiates, such as oxycodone, which is derived from the extract of the opium puppy, and it can be synthetic opiates, such as fentanyl. Many people die or get hurt annually from the abuse of prescription opioids. What are the most powerful types of opiates? Codeine, morphine, heroin, fentanyl. Thousands of people visit the emergency room due to misuse of prescription pain medications. 75% of these people use prescription drugs that were prescribed to somebody else. Opiate abuse is an epidemic in the United States. Prescription opiate misuse may lead to abuse and addiction to heroin and fentanyl. There are some studies about pain and the effect of opioids. Some are sponsored by the pharmaceutical manufacturers. But most of these studies are short-term studies that did not have a long-term follow-up. And as a result, the 1% risk of opioid addiction is often cited. Studies have demonstrated that the risk of addiction to prescription opioids is between 3% to 45% when they are used on a long-term basis. In fact, when opioid use occurs beyond 12 weeks, 50% of the patients will still be taking the opiates beyond 5 years. The new laws limit the amount of opiate pills that can be dispensed from a single provider. In fact, it limits the time of dispensing and the number of pills to a single patient. Some studies showed that patients that are taking preoperative opioids are associated with increased length of hospital stay, increased morbidity, and a worse outcome. When you give opioids to a patient for a longer time postoperatively, this will impact the surgeon and the hospital when it comes to the patient reported outcomes, and it also can affect patient satisfaction. Pain is the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral response. Pain intensity varies from person to person, which is related to stress, distress, coping abilities, and psychological factors. In general, the physician should work with the patient for better pain relief and for safer prescribing of medications. The best pain relief is self-efficacy and resilience. Encourage the patient to recover and adapt during stressful situations. Depression and catastrophic thinking increases the pain intensity. People who have resilience have a lower level of pain and set goals for recovery, which enhances their functional ability. Opiate sparing strategies may prevent long-term use of prescription opioids. The strategies can be physical, mental or cognitive, or medications. The physical strategies, such as 
massaged, tensioned, acupuncture, ice or heat. The mental cognitive strategies can be a teddy bear, can be meditation, yoga, biofeedback, cognitive behavioral therapy, or music therapy. The medication strategies does not have to include opiates. It can be nerve block, it can be non anti-inflammatory medication, or it can be gabapentin. It can be combination of all these three strategies. Combination of these strategies will definitely help to relieve patient's pain and anxiety and will give the patient confidence in the system. A study of opioids following outpatient upper extremity surgery found that 77% of patients took 15 or fewer pills and almost half the patient took 5 or fewer pills. The majority of patients use opiates for less than two days. A patient in Netherlands leaves the hospital after an operation to fix the ankle with Tylenol, and these patients are satisfied. With the new laws, the doctor should have empathetic communication with the patient and explain why they cannot give more pain medications. Discuss with the patient about the opiates and promote alternative pain management strategies and get help from other people such as the nurses, the physiotherapist, and the occupational therapist. Discuss post-surgical pain management with the patient. And when the patient has a history of substance abuse, try to help them. Guide your patient to the best team that can help the patient. Send them to pain management. Get some help for your patient. Excessive post-surgical prescription of opiates is commonly reported as a contributing factor to diversion and abuse. It is better to use immediate release opioids instead of extended release opioids. Pain blocks are effective and can reduce the need for opiates. Minimally invasive procedures can reduce the pain of the patient. It is better for the patient to have multimodal therapy. It is more effective and safer than narcotics alone. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.